Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Pursue your passions. Follow your dreams. If you never try, you'll never fail. Kill or be killed. Wait, what? What's up guys and welcome to my second YouTube channel. My name is Jay and at the time of the shooting I still do not officially have a name for the channel but of course I will by the time this uh, video goes live. So the purpose of this new channel is for me to explore my other creative interest which is filmmaking and videography. So that being said I will still continue to post content on the guitar channel uh, so if you're interested in music and guitar, you're a guitar enthusiast or, you know, just like music in general, check that one out. I'll leave a link on up here, down there, all over. Anyways, this is going to be about videography, photography, filmmaking, all aspects of it. Whether it's the gear, uh, setting up the shots, lighting, locations. I have been following some of the bigger channels now for quite a while, such as uh, Thomas Alex Norman, uh, Peter McKinnon, and of course, Casey Neistat, the king of vloggers. Uh, those guys, along with many others, are extremely professional grade and master craftsmen at what they do. I just love the stuff that they present. I love the way they present it. And I wanna see if I can learn some of those skills myself, you know, maybe present my own stuff in the similar format. One common denominator I find among all those creators and uh, quite a few others out there is that they are masters of storytelling and they manage to keep the viewer engaged from start to finish, uh, always wondering what's the next shot gonna be, what's gonna happen next, and they just keep your interest. I love that form of storytelling. I'm a huge movie buff and always have been, but I never really thought to myself, what does it take to make a movie? What does it take to make a commercial or you know, a, YouTube, a really good engaging YouTube vlog video or something like that? When you see the final product, it just looks so seamless and so cohesive that we don't really think about it. The lay person doesn't really think about all the effort, time, techniques involved to put together a project like that. So, like I said, over the past year or so, maybe a little longer, I began to follow these channels and really study what it is that makes them so unique and outstanding. Obviously, you know the phrase, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So, I will kind of try to piggyback off of their techniques and their style. I'm not going to completely copy it. I have such um, high regard for them and what they do and, and the lessons that, that they've taught, you know, through their YouTube content. And I just thought to myself, you know, they can do it. Other people can do it. People learn to do it from square one. Why can't I? So that's the purpose of this channel uh, is just to pursue that endeavor. So if you're interested in this kind of content and you're a beginner or maybe you're an intermediate or, or professional, you know, and you just want to join in in the conversation, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I really want to engage with the viewers of this channel, and that's my intention too. It's kind of going to be a developmental series where I kind of, you know, just grow with my skill level as I continue to evolve and get better and better, but I'm really looking forward to engaging and talking with and having a serious dialogue with those people out there that want to learn uh, as I do, and please give me your suggestions. You know, let me know your thoughts on what I show you here today. For my first project, uh, I gave myself a little homework assignment, which was basically to go out into my woods, go out in the backyard, and go for a walk in the woods, and just film some shots and see what if I can put together a decent little sequence uh, with a little B-roll in between, using a little bit of uh, sound design, some background music, a little bit of narration. You know, my cuts and editing—they're still pretty rough, but they're—I think they're improving from when I first started doing videos here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's just run the sequence now. Check it out, it's about three minutes and then uh, we'll have a little chat about it afterwards. All right, just going through a walk in the woods in my backyard.
So I kind of get the feeling that this is where they filmed the Blair Witch Project. Kind of creepy. Look, Mom, no hands. Ah, don't look at the camera. <laughs> Man, the sun is so unreliable. One minute it's cloudy, gloomy. The next it's a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day. All right, so first things first. Before you even say it, my first bit of criticism to myself would be the color grading. Uh, it's pretty terrible, and I know that. Um, I'm working on it, it's a work in progress. It's not easy, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, a majority of these shots that you see here were filmed with my Canon M6 Mark II, my mirrorless camera, with my prime lens, which is my Sigma 16 millimeter lens, which if you're not familiar with that lens has a very uh, short depth of field. It goes down to 1.4 f-stop, which is really nice. You get that blurry background, that bokeh that everybody talks about. It really pulls the, the viewer into the scene. Uh, I like using that as much as possible. I do plan to get some more lenses when I can afford to buy one, two, three thousand dollar lenses. There's certain ones out there that I want to get, but I'm also a realist, you know, and I also want to be pragmatic. Uh, just buying new gear, buying more expensive gear isn't going to make me a better <laughs> uh, filmmaker. I know this. It's just like with the guitar. You know, buying a really expensive guitar doesn't make you a better guitar player. It just makes you somebody who owns a really expensive guitar. The point of the channel is to basically learn to develop my skills in videography, in photography, and filmmaking, and to bring you, the viewer, along for the ride. You know, we're going to have a good dialogue here, back and forth, and I think that what, together we can both uh, improve on our skills and our abilities, and hopefully within the next year or so, you know, maybe I'll be able to produce some uh, semi-professional content. That is my goal. Uh, my other goal, of course, with the channel is to eventually turn this into more of a travel vlog and uh, just take, you know, it's going to be day in the life stuff. It's going to be what I'm doing, where I'm going and who I'm with. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm not going to have a lot of free time to dedicate to the channel, but I will try to post content on here, hopefully weekly. That's the plan anyways, uh, you know, when I get time on the weekends to do so. So yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for checking out the new channel. Thanks a lot for watching video number one. Uh, please do me a favor and hit that like button. You know how the algorithm works. And if you think you might enjoy this channel as well, definitely tap that subscribe button. You know, we gotta boost the numbers. Uh, please the YouTube algorithm gods. You know how it works. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.